Hi, Tim Unkert here. I'm going to show you in this video how to write a C program using the micro text editor on a Chromebook. Okay, the first thing I want to do is make sure that I have the Linux development environment enabled. To do that, I'm going to go to settings, then to advanced, and this will work for Chromebooks, I believe, after 2019. I'm going to click on developers, and you'll see this Linux development environment. You'll see here a button that'll say turn on. You're going to click that, and then it'll prompt you uh, to put aside a certain amount of space for that. And you can change that, or you can just take whatever space uh, they recommend. Probably just want to take the recommended space. And then it'll go through and install uh, Linux. Okay. So there's a couple things you want to do once that happens. So you'll get this terminal here. And it'll fire up and you want to type sudo apt uh, update and two ampersands for and sudo apt uh, upgrade and let me make this a little bit larger so you can see it okay and you're going to hit that and it's going to run through and i just did this so it's probably not going to update anything so yeah it's not going to update anything okay so that's what you want to do to start okay now, the next thing you want to do is click on this download link. And then you're going to go to the latest release. At the time of this video, it's 2.0.9. Okay. Uh, for me, I would download this, okay, uh, where it says AMD 64 because mine has an AMD processor. Uh, this video is going to work for people who have an AMD processor. You have an ARM processor. It does look like you have options here. Uh, but again, I don't have a Chromebook with an ARM processor, so I can't comment on that. Anyway, so you're going to download this, and it's going to go ahead and download, and you'll show it in folder. You'll see that I've already downloaded and installed it. You can right-click, and then you want to click on Install with Linux, and it will go ahead and install it for you. Okay. Once that is done, you can go into here, into your uh, terminal application is where you have to run micro. Now you can use this terminal application that comes along with um, the Linux environment when you install Chromebook, or you can do what I do. I use Terminator, um, either or. It'll work in either one. Uh, you would have to install Terminator, and the command for that would be sudo apt install Terminator. Uh, and that's a small one on space, so it doesn't take up much space. But I'll do it in this one. Okay. So one way you can get into the text editor is just type micro. And you'll be into the micro text editor. To And then you can start typing. And you can quit out of it by typing control Q. And that'll get you out of it. Okay. If you want to make the name micro shorter, what you should do is type which micro. And that's going to show you the full command. And then you can create a bash underscore aliases file, a dot bash underscore aliases, which I've done. So if you if I type ls and then a space dash a, that's going to show me my dot files. And you see I have bash underscore aliases. So I'm going to open that with micro. Okay. And you'll see I've put in an alias mc here, and that just equals the path user bin micro. And you would have it equal whatever it does when you run that which micro. Okay. So I'm going to uh, control Q to get out of there because I've done that already. And then you'd want to, before you could use that alias, you would have to source bash underscore aliases. And the way you do that is a dot, a space, and then dot bash aliases. Okay. That sources it. Now I can type MC and get into the micro text editor, which makes it a little bit easier. I can type a little bit less to get in. OK, I'm going to quit out of here first, though, and clear this stuff out. And I've already got a directory called C, so I'm going to CD into C. And then to create a file, I'm just going to type NC, and I'm going to name the file. In this case, I'll name it hello.c. OK, now I'm in the text editor, and I can start to uh, type my C program. So I'm going to include um, 
a standard input output header and I'm going to include a standard library header and I'm going to have a main function and then I'm going to return zero and let's print something out like we'll use the print f hello okay I'm going to hit control s to save that and you'll see uh, if there is an error, it'll show up here. I'm going to now uh, hit control Q to get out of here. And now before I compile it, I want to make sure I have build essential install. So I'm going to type sudo apt install build dash essential. And I'm going to run that. And you'll see that I've already got it installed. If you don't, it'll prompt you that it's going to take up a certain amount of space. You're going to say yes and then install it. Okay, so now I can run a program. Uh, let me clear this out. Remember, my program is hello.c. So to compile it, I'm going to type gcc hello.c. To run it, I'm going to type a period slash a.out. And you can see hello here. And it's on the same line as this. Let's clean that up a little bit. I'm going to type mc hello.c. Go in here. And just put an escape to a new line and you'll see it the syntax highlighting is a little bit different if you don't like this color scheme you can also hit Control e to go down to the commands and you can type color scheme and then a tab oh no sorry it's set color scheme and then a tab and it'll go through some of the ones that are available let's say you want a light one you can do duke light um, you could also do Ubuntu, Genie, Gotham, Groovebox, Groovebox, True Color, Material, True Color. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So you can change your color scheme if you want and do some other things. For help in Micro, you can hit Control G, and that'll bring up the help test, uh, help text. And then to get out of this, you can just hit Control Q. And we can quit out of the program, make sure it's saved, and Control S to save, and then Control Q to get out. And then let's compile it again. So we're going to type gcc hello.c. Okay. And then we want to run it again with the just period forward slash a dot out. And we'll see it says hello. So that's creating a C program in the micro text editor on your Chromebook. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe as it really helps the channel grow and hit the bell for the notifications. Thanks for watching and have a good day.